What's up guys, it's Paralyzer here, and today I'm going to be giving you 10 things that you missed in the new Grounded 1.2 Super Duper Update. These are small little changes to the game that have been added that a lot of you will have missed, and I'm going to cover them all today so you know that they all exist. The first one is Fire Ant Eggs. Now, if you are inside of the Fire Ant Nest and using the Sticky Fingers or the Rascal Rogue Mutation, you can steal items from the fire ants and one of these items is the fire ant egg meaning you can now get this item for the first time in the game um all it does is hatch a fire ant you can't use it for anything else you can't analyze it you can't craft it into anything it literally just hatches into a fire ant but you can finally get these eggs in the game uh, you can also steal black ant eggs and red ant eggs from those ants respectively inside their nests specifically as well. The next one is when you're fighting the Black Widowlings and you're using Sticky Fingers or Rascal Rogue, you can steal items from the Widowlings. The items that you can steal include Black Widow Fangs and Spider Parts. I don't think you can get Super Spider Venom from this, but you can get the Black Widow Fangs, which would be really, really useful, as it means you now don't need to kill the Black Widow in order to get the Fangs, which you can use to craft certain pieces of Widow armor, and it'll just help you out in general. Advice piece number three is the Petal Bed. This is a bed that unlocks when you get to Coziness level five, and uh, you definitely want to make it as soon as you can. When you sleep in this bed, you get two brand new buffs, which buff your defense and your stamina regeneration throughout the day after you've slept. So you definitely want to make this brand new bed for these brand new buffs. The next one is the hot tub. There's a new hot tub in the game that you can craft, but when you get inside of it, you actually get the hot springs buff that you would get when you are in the charcoal hot springs area. This will regen your health faster, so you should definitely make one of these and put it in your house in case you want to go home and regenerate your health without using a bandage. Tip number five is the Mant Gong. Now, the Mant Gong has been added to the game, and when you hit the gong, it actually gives you a 30-second attack damage bonus. So if you need some extra damage, and uh, you're defending your base from a raid, or you want to fight your teammates, then go on ahead and hit this gong, and you'll be able to do some extra damage to your enemies. Tip number six is you can now rub bugs. The stuffed bugs finally have a use in the game. If you go up to them, you can rub them. This will increase the loot drops from those specific bugs. Uh, some bugs are a bit different, so if you rub a passive bug, it will give you increased loot from all passive bugs in the game. But for the most part, rubbing a bug will just increase the loot drops from that specific bug. The next thing that you might have missed is the Mant Statue. Now, this is a new statue in the game, but out of the seven that were added, the Mant Statue is the only one that can be customised. You can give it any of the Mant's attacking poses, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can even make him look like he's pooping, which is pretty funny. Next, the aphids now drop aphid honeydew. Now, I don't know if this will stay in the game, but if you're using the dissection expert mutation, which gives you extra loot drops, or you rub a stuffed aphid, you can get extra loot drops, which include aphid honeydew from the aphids, which is pretty cool because, you know, it's a pretty hard resource to get. Otherwise, it's a pain to run around picking it up. It also means the aphids can drop multiple pieces of aphid meat when you kill them, which is very nice. Tip 9 is the same, but for weevils. Weevils now drop mushroom chunks if you're using Dissection Expert, or if you rub a stuffed weevil, you can get mushroom chunks from them, which means you could technically now farm mushroom chunks, which is pretty cool. The final tip, which is tip number 10, is you can steal and loot algae from a lot of the water creatures. This includes the water flea, the tadpole, and the water boatman. They will all drop algae upon death sometimes as a rare drop, and you can also loot it from them when you're stealing using Sticky Fingers or the Rascal Rogue Mutation. That's 10 new tips for Grounded 1.2. If you knew all of these, then you've played this game too much just like me. But let me know if you learned anything new in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next Grounded video. Have a great rest of your day.